What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. This is a quick episode, okay? This is a move that I've been using all summer and I have to say I stand by it with true conviction. That's the first time I ever used that word in this show, so I'm super pumped about this. Everybody's drinking spiked seltzers. I'm a big spiked seltzer guy. I'm a vodka soda guy, so vodka soda people merged right into the spiked seltzer game. I like the spiked seltzers. They're delicious and it makes me get fatter at a slower rate. But the problem is I need a little bit more juice behind it. I need to come with a little pain. So with my move this summer, I've been doing vodka soda on steroids. You wanna get you a nice mixy cup, you know? It's a war out there, you wanna be ready. This is a nice to go move right here. You're on the move, you're doing stuff, so you wanna get a nice fresh cocktail to kick off a nice clean ass weekend day. Get a little ice in there. All right, cut a little fresh fruit up, maybe some lime or lemon. If you have lime, put that in, whatever. This is all I have, so that's what we're using. There it is, get a little vodka there, just enough. You know, I don't have to tell you this, but please drink responsibly. Get you a spike seltzer. Give it a little how you like me now right there. That's for good luck. Make sure you close the lid. Now you're ready to go. Look at you. You're on the move. You're at the beach, you're in the streets. You're on the way to a function. If you have a drinking problem, you're on your way to work. Either way, poof. It's got a real nice kick to her. If it's gonna be a big weekend, have a clean ass kickoff cocktail and get it started right. I mean, it's that simple. I like these cups, man, for a lot of reasons. Like if you're riding shotgun, you know, I like to call my lady tight turn Terry right there. She hitting that hot turn. When you have a cup like this, you can hit your head on the glass on an unexpected hot left turn and it's not gonna spill. You see that? Now you're ready. You can talk with your hands. You're good to go. You're on the move. I mean, it's all alcohol. It's gonna stay cold. It's easily storable in backpack pockets. It's comfy in my hand. And, and you want it to stay frozen, and that's why I love this cup. And if you're camping or you maybe you're going to an airport, we're gonna knock out an episode next week showing how to walk onto a plane with one of these guys, all right? And one of the key elements we're gonna need in our travel pack repertoire is one of these little two and a half ounce joints right here that you can take on airplanes with the liquid. Not just for planes, okay? If you're on the move and you got a sweet ass mug full of cocktail, when you run out, you're gonna need more. That's why you wanna get your vodka, get you one of these little buddies right here that holds stuff for, for all your bathroom needs. It's supposed to hold lotion and stuff, but if you're smart, we'll go ahead and fill her up with the old vodka. Get her on a lid. Who needs some? Oh, that was hard. Ha! Let's say you're getting low. Look at this, squeeze bottle, vodka, right in. I mean, what more do you want? You need, I'm giving you the tools of the trade. And the good news is those comes in pack of threes. You're getting lit before you land, friends. Throw them in the backpack, you know what I mean? Save a few bucks. Remember, we wanna drink when we're traveling, but you have to understand there are a few things you need to do ahead of time to make sure you can get a good buzz going on wherever the hell you're going. Like, that's it. I got my vodka, I got my cocktail. I gotta get my shit, I gotta catch a train. All right, that's it. Load up. Get your vodka in, however many you brought, you know what I mean? That's this episode of $20 Chef, man. I'll see you guys next time. If I'm on a train, I'm probably buzzing.